Hey guys, John Martini here to show you Texture Set Mixer, which is a standalone piece of software that gives artists the ability to combine texture sets, whether they're exported from Painter, Photoshop, or even programs like Mari. And to start, we will add some images here to our texture set editor. Uh, to do that, you'll hit the plus sign. You can choose a directory that contains a bunch of images or individually browse for files you would like to add. Um, so we'll go ahead and hit browse directory. In this case, I know my maps are exported to this location, so I'll hit select. You see it populates them all into individual texture set groupings. Uh, you can click to expand this. You do have the ability of clicking on the thumbnails to get a quick preview. In this case, you'll see we have some uh, multiple AO maps that we do not need, which was purposely done in this tutorial to demonstrate the fact that you do have the ability to remove images you don't want calculated in the final output. Uh, you have the option of setting the background color. By default, most of them are all going to be transparent, uh, which is customizable by default and normals will always have that bluish purple background. If you do want to change it, you'll click on the button, uh, drag your swatch, and go ahead and slide this fun button all the way up, increasing the alpha. It does support transparency if you need to do that. And we do have some nice color swatches down here for quickly picking default options that you guys might want to use. We have normal as well as transparency. So we'll select that and click out. Next, we want to adjust our output settings. So we'll choose our output directory. In this case, we want to go to combined and hit select. And you'll notice in the controls here that have the browsing options, we do have a recents menu. So if you go ahead and remove all these maps, you can hit that recent location and have it quickly populate. Going back to the output settings for our prefix, we'll call this headphones since that's what the maps, the maps are generated for. And our packing preset, which is used to mix three different texture sets into one image. So for Unreal, in this example, they use ambient inclusion, roughness, and metallic all in one image. So this will pack them for you. Now if you're missing any of these texture sets, it will highlight it in red so you know that there could be some rendering errors. In this case, we have all the maps, so they should all be green. The last thing you'll do is you'll hit execute. And once that's all complete, it'll automatically open the rendered output location so you can quickly preview what the output looks like. Now, if you do want to manually navigate to it, you can click on this and hit show and explore. And it'll take you to the same location. You can see here we have headphones, AO, roughness, and metallic all combined into one. That's why we have this rainbow of colors and then all the individual texture sets are combined. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to message me. I will be doing another video explaining more detail uh, demonstrations on customizing the rule sets for textures as well as making custom packing presets uh, for examples like the Unreal preset. Thanks.